Hey guys, this is Black Tie. Welcome to another video. Uh, before I get started on the main feature, I wanted to warn you to turn your sound down because when I was recording, I didn't realize how sensitive my microphone was being. So, just a quick warning: turn your volume down unless you want your ears to explode. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy. Hey guys, how's it going? Black Tie here again, and today I'll be bringing you another Minecraft video. So I've been pretty busy, been doing a lot of different work on, well I shouldn't say a lot of different work, but I've been working on the adventure map obviously, and what you see here is one of the things I built that will be featured in the adventure map. Uh, so this is a steampunk airship, as you can probably tell. Um, so just a quick tour. This is the captain's deck. Um, I'm, I feel like something else should be up here, but I'm not entirely sure what. So, uh, whatever. But um, these are the cannons. They've got dispensers with fire charges in them. Back here, just sort of an ornate design type thing. Um, propellers in the front, I use cobwebs as steam or smoke sort of thing, as you can probably tell. And since there will, I will be creating a custom texture pack for the adventure map, it will look more like smoke in the adventure map. Um, then over here, there's some chests with just different things in them. Um, like extra ammo for the cannons and just bows, etc. You can see they're all stocked, but I'm gonna have to restock them because I put them all uniformly. But oh well. Um, same lantern design as was used in Skytown or Selton, as I may be calling it. Um, then here's the captain's quarters, which clearly aren't finished yet. Um, a small dining hall and chests to be filled with food. Um, and then we come in here, and this is mainly a ship of war, and that combined with the fact that it's a airship says basically that it doesn't like it it shouldn't be carrying a lot of cargo or anything and I actually decided that I'm going to get rid of this and then just put this here uh, so then we've got uh, cannons back here again these are small little windows so that they can still reach and load the can the cannon, but also still have cover. And in here is extra ammo. Um, trap doors to cover glowstone, because it just didn't look great. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, let's see. Let's fix this. No, I did that wrong. I'm just breaking everything, aren't I? My computer's lagging quite a bit. But, um, up here is the boiler room. Um, in the custom texture pack, the, uh, sponge will be sort of like a gearbox kind of thing. So it'll make more sense. Um, smokestacks for the steam to spill out. And then, obviously, the blimp. So, there you go. Steampunk airship, in a nutshell. Um, so, this video, or in this video, I wanted to basically take you guys through the general process I use to create these, or this airship, which will be featured in the adventure map. Um, so you can see over here, I've made a elongated tube sort of thing, and I'll show you how that works. 
So, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and set a waypoint. So, set test. Alright. Now, let's just build a little area here. Oops. Pew pew. Okay, and there we go. Alright. Now, over here, I'll do it right like here. If I, let's see, bind I slash slash H cell five five one. Okay. So, I press I, right? And we've got our circle. Now, if I come and I stand right here, right, press I again, we have the same thing, except that it's been elongated. And if you did this right, that could be an ender eye or something like that. Now, then, if I press I again, it elongates it again, and again, and using this method, you can create an airship. Now, you can do this if you wanted to and just create an airship by or any ship really by creating different sizes of spheres like this and just sort of tailoring it the way you want it. Um, but you can also do it another way which I'll show you. Now, this works with circles, right? So a sphere, in essence, is a elongated, or not elongated, my bad. A sphere is a three-dimensional circle, right? So we can do essentially the same thing with, well, with spheres. So I'm going to make sort of a long plank platform path thing. Okay. Now our ship will be slightly longer than this, but if I do, I'm going to bind K slash slash H sphere, right? Five five. Or actually I'll go with five six. Now I'm gonna press K, right? And now I've got a sphere. Just just a sphere. Now if I walk up here, and normally with a circle, it would be right here. But since you can see this is slightly different, and we'll set today, we have to stand one block behind the edge. So I'm going to press K again. And yet again, we have another sphere. Now. If I do it again, and again, oops, and one more time, uh, let's do it one more time actually, you know what, I'm going to do light, so we can see, and I did not mean to do that, okay, alright, so, now, we've got, an elongated sphere. Now, this is far from done as you can see. It's very glitchy, not well done at all. So, what we're going to do is bring this up and that looks about right. And I'll stop. I'll start right there. Okay. Then come to the other side. Okay. Now go up one block. Okay. So if I take this, I do wand, right? Um 
I'm gonna turn drops off real quick. Drops. Okay. And I do fly three because I need to go on survival for this. So if I select here, right? And I select here. I do slash slash set zero, right? Now it's gonna chop all of that off, right? And you can see from the inside you have a tangled mess, right? Now fix that. Alright. So what you're gonna need to do is come in and fill these holes up with I'm using wood because it's it's a ship. So it makes sense for me to use wood. But whatever your material is, if if you were making the blimp which uses the same exact principle, then you would put it with wool or whatever, you know. Um so yeah. Okay, basically you get the idea. Then go ahead and clear all of this out, right? So what I'm gonna do is Oops. Fly three. Items are infinite. I'm gonna set right there. And I'm gonna come and go. There. Set zero. Right, now that cleared out a lot of the wreckage. I, c I call it wreckage, I don't know. I don't know why, but whatever. Okay. Set zero. Right. So, basically you get the idea. You do that, you, cl you fill in all the holes, you clear out the wreckage, and then what I would do is go over here, right? Just right here. Do slash slash h sphere, and then five, um, you can do five 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 four. I'll do five four, right now. Uh, whoops! Uh, instant mine. Come on. Oh. Um. Okay, I'll just go on creative. Okay. So now you can see it adds on sort of a more pointed edge. And you can do that multiple times with smaller and smaller spheres if you like. And you can see that's basically what I did right here on the end. So I just made a smaller sphere. Alright, now you can also, uh, in, instead of deleting the spheres at the back, for instance, like right over here in this area, uh, you can leave it there and just modify it a bit, which is what I ended up doing over here, or something similar. I extended the spheres up, and I left the back sphere so that it would uh, so that it would stay rounded. Um, so that's essentially how to create the boat part of it. Now. If I do platform, right, and it keeps doing that to me, jump, okay, platform, right, now, turn fly off, right, and, you know what, I'll just do, I've already bound, I think it was J, right, yeah, so, do J, and J again, right, uh, so, that to say, basically, it's the same thing, like, fill in the extras, and with this one, I've, the way I set it up, for some reason, I had to fill in a little extra, like, in between, in the middle, or something, like you can see, but, 
either way, basically, in a nutshell, that was how I created this. Obviously, I added a lot more detailing and stuffs. Um, and it's my goal to create multiple templates. Like you can see here, this was a radius of 5, this was a radius of 6, and I plan on making something similar with the boats so that I can have multiple templates saved as schematics, schematics, and uh, basically just put together which schematic bits I want. Um, and if I, or I shouldn't say my goal, it's an idea I had. If I end up doing that, I may just I may upload the schematics as well so that you guys can use them. I have not decided yet. Um, there you go. There's sort of a quick tutorial on creating or beginning the creation of an airship. Obviously, this takes a lot more detailing, uh, Adding contrast, right, uh, depth, etc., etc., making it pretty. Um, but really, it, it was like I took maybe like two hours on it or something, and that's not a lot of time at all. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and if you like, you can post a reply video thing, whatever they're called, uh, and show me what your airship looks like if you end up using this. Uh, so, yeah, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.